Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matsudo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install Map Builder Community version 1.05. To those of you who don't know what is Map Builder, then I will tell you guys now. Map Builder gives you the power to create high quality maps in Grand Theft Auto V. Map Builder does provide creators with new blocks, walls, ceiling, floors, foundation, windows, and etc. even furniture in Grand Theft Auto V. So guys, basically, Map Builder does fixes, glitches, and etc. And even if you're falling down the map inside a building. Okay guys, so Map Builder is one of the most important mods. Okay guys, so like always guys, we gotta get straight into it, okay? All you guys gotta do is make sure that you download all of the requirements inside my description. Make sure that they are the latest version. But guys, do not download from here. I repeat, do not download from here. Come down here guys, and then click on this link. And this link will redirect you to the patreon.com. Once you guys come over here, all you gotta do next is click on Map Builder over here. And then now it will redirect you to the place. Now, it will redirect you guys to over here. Now, all you guys got to do next, okay, is click on continue reading. And now you are basically here. These are the requirements too. So, all you guys got to do, okay, is make sure you download game config package and download the mod over here guys okay so these are the main two files you need you do need open iv skithook v skithook v dot net and even menu or map editor now if you're using menu you don't need object spawner unlocker so that's why it is optional once you guys have downloaded and installed all the requirements we are going to go and install Map Builder. All you guys gotta do, okay, is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. As you guys can see, that I'm using a brand spanking new folder, and there's absolutely no mods in here. So, we are going to go and connect our game with our Open IV. Go to your open IV and then now all you guys gotta do next is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game windows. Now wait for a few seconds, it all depends on your PC performance. Now go to tools, go to ASI manager and then go to install ASI loader, install open IV dot ASI and and now this application will come up just select yes and then install open camera close your application then minimize open iv now guys what we are going to do here is that we are going to install the requirements now we are going to install the requirements so guys make sure that all the requirements are the latest version so open up your script hook v extract folder Go into your bin folder and select input 8.dll, script hook v.dll, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up, just replace files. Open up your script hook v.net extract folder and select script hook v.net.asi.dll and .xml. Drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install our trainers. 
Open up your Trainer V Extract folder and select Trainer V.ASI and .ini. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Open up your Menu Extract folder and select Menu Stuff folder and Menu.ASI. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now guys, this is optional. You guys can download it if you want to. It's up to you. I will leave this inside my downloads. Go and download map reveal and open interiors. Extract folder and then open up your map reveal and open interiors extract folder. And then now select all three files and drag them all inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now, all you guys gotta do now is right click, refresh your folder, right click again and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Once you guys have completed, okay, press enter once and then press enter again. Now, open up your native UI extract folder and make sure it's the latest version. Drag your native UI.dll file inside your scripts folder. Then now go back to your main GTA V folder. Now all you guys gotta do next, okay, we have finished installing our requirements. Now all you guys gotta do next, okay, is right click, refresh your folder, and then exit your game folder. Open up your open IV, drag it towards the side. Now open up your C package. And then now click on game config package.oiv and drag it onto your desktop. I have already got one there, so I don't need to do it. Now, the first thing we are going to do, guys, is that we are going to install Map Builder. Go to your tools, go to package installer. Now, the first thing we are going to install is our game config. Go to game config package.oiv select open and then select install and then go and go and install it into your mod folder and then install confirm this will take a few seconds it depends on your PC performance now guys once the installing is finished all you gotta do is exit out of the application do not run the game close Go back to your tools again, go to package installer again, and now this time, go and click on community props install.oiv. Then go to open, then now go to install, then now install it into your mod folder, and then lastly, install confirm installation. Now guys, this install will take a few minutes, okay? It all depends on your PC performance, Sometimes it may take about 30 minutes or 20 minutes, okay? It, it all depends on your PC performance. So guys, I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you guys soon. Now guys, once the installation is succeeded, all you guys got to do is close the file. Remember, do not run the game. Close the file, guys, and then all you guys got to do next, okay, is exit out of your OpenIV. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V game. Hover over it, right click and open file location. Now guys, as you guys can see, we have fully installed Map Builder. Okay, see? There goes Map Builder uh, 5M folder and go to your mods, okay? Go to update, go to time 64, go to your DRC packs and as you guys can see, we've got a custom map and map builder add-ons. So guys, we have fully completed it, okay? But what we are going to do guys is that we go to test this out and now we are going to test it with menu okay guys so we are going to go and go in the game okay but what i'm going to do guys is that i'm going to put our house into the mod and now we are going to go and check out the house okay so guys i'll see you guys in the game so guys here we are we are over here this is where the house is so we are going to go and, and yeah, have a look inside the house, okay? Usually, when you're not using Map Builder, 
uh, you can't get in the house, but now you can. So I can see you can't get in the house, you won't fall down the map. Because sometimes you do lose a lot of FPS. It's because you're not using map builder. And sometimes you fall down the uh, map because you don't have map builder. So map builder is handy guys. As you guys can see that I am not laggy or I'm not falling down the map. There's no glitches whatsoever. So this is a handy mod guys to have. Make sure you guys do download map builder. So guys remember that map builder gives you the power to create high quality buildings and even it gives you access to other people's mods and you can actually go into the buildings without glitching or falling down the map okay guys or any glitches okay guys so i hope you guys do like this video if you guys do then make sure you guys let me know in the comments okay and just to let you guys know if you guys do need help with any other mods that i'm more than welcome to help you guys out so guys with that all said i hope you guys do like this video if you guys do then smash the like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials and i'll see you guys on my next video thanks for watching guys peace and i'm out